What is up guys? TK here with TK's Garage. Welcome on back to another video. Wow, it is bright out here. Um, today I have a few vehicles to walk around and check out and today I'm going to start with RVs before I get back to look at my cars. So uh, let's get into it. Man, seeing that RV yesterday, man, whoo, oh, that was horrible. Oh, oh, man, just even thinking about that was just, that's just disgusting. Hey, a really nice little E-Class, it's not on my list, I wonder what's up with that. Is that an AMG? Wait a minute. 178,000 miles, I see curtain airbags from the seat are deployed watch me get around to the side and it'd be destroyed it's an e500 okay no just suspension damage or something or they ran over something and it blew the airbags huh this one's not up for sale yet but it is definitely one i would watch yeah no power oh it's got power hey Let's take a look at this real quick. She fires up. Wow, some heavy ticking. It says stop, car too low. So maybe the air suspension or something in this car blew up. Wow, a lot of rattle from the engine compartment. Clearly a misfire too, I can feel it. Oh wow, I smell fuel. All right, let me shut that down. You can see where the airbags are deployed in here. It's not good. Interior is nice though. I mean, it's not bad. 178,000 miles. I mean, this might be one, if it goes for a hundred bucks, it's not bad to mess with. You know what I'm saying, 200 bucks. And believe it or not, you'd be surprised. The things that go for money out here are trucks luxury cars things of that nature they don't go for a lot of money out here you know so i buy my luxury cars here and i try to buy my trucks and stuff down in miami that's kind of like my strategy but there she is not a bad not a bad thing to start today with that's and i'll add it to my watch list that is a twin axle or a dual axle pace arrow now it does run and drive but it's definitely not something i'm looking to get into it's not a diesel if it was a diesel pusher maybe this fifth wheel though this edge definitely on my list let's hope fingers crossed i don't run into a vehicle with turds in it i'm hoping that it's clean because it damn sure looks clean from here i'm really trying to figure out what this thing is doing here okay so that back comes down. So this is kind of like a toy, what they call a toy hauler. Oh wow, that's really nice in there. How do I get to that section? Oh, there is a bathroom with no turds. <laughs> so the bathroom is clean. This shows you a little bit from this side. That thing is really beautiful in there. I'm gonna have to walk to the other side and see if we can get a better view. See if I can go up the other side. Oh, wow. Spider web. Okay. <laughs> Yo, let me find out. I just locked myself in. To a damn RV. Oh, wow. A few moments later. Ta-da! Whew. I was a little nervous there for a minute. I about to say, oh, shit. I'm locked in. See, I'll be spending the night here. Not. All right. All right. Now this gets us into the other area. You can see the kitchen and whatnot here. So all of this is part of that slide out, or part of this slide out right here that comes out. When that slide out comes out, you get full access to a full refrigerator nice tv and stuff over there look at that nice couch this is a really nice fifth wheel you got your slide outs in and out here 
we have another bathroom. With water. Nice size bed. That's got to be what, queen? Queen size bed in here. This thing's really nice. I might pay attention to this for sure. I mean, can't go wrong on these for the money, but we're going to have to check out the structural parts of it outside because now I'm wondering why it's here. It's either got damage to the roof, damage to the undercarriage, or somewhere on the body. I didn't really see any on the body, but I didn't look that close either. So let's go take a look. All right. All right, guys, so super stable is off. It might be a little jumpy as we pan and stuff here. I want to try to get a better look at why this is here. I see a little thing here, a little bend there, nothing major though. I'm not seeing any hits really anywhere. It's got to be roof damage. The only thing I can think of is something fell on it. And it doesn't say what the damage is. Okay. I see a check here. Nothing. That's just designated what it is. I see no damage up top. I mean, I see where they cleaned it. It's been waxed. You can even still see, like, residual wax and stuff right there. Box. I'm not seeing any damage to the structure at all. Let me know in the comments if you're seeing something I'm not because... I'm not. The only thing I can think of is that this thing has roof damage in some way, shape, or form. Because I'm not seeing any damage uh, up top. I'm not seeing anything on the bottom. So I'm thinking roof damage or, you know, it doesn't designate flood damage. Combat Vets Association. I see you. I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. I don't know what it would be that would have totaled this out. I'm not seeing it. And there's no way for me to get a, you know, I don't, oh, I see a little thing here. Okay, wait a minute. This wouldn't total it though. Look at the scratch. Deep into the, into the glass there. Same thing here. But that wouldn't total this thing. I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments if you guys are seeing something I'm not, because I'm not seeing it. Multi-slide out. This thing looks like a hell of a fifth wheel, and I bet you it's going to go for nothing. It's going to go for dirt cheap. RVs, uh, well, I'll put it like this. Not running RVs. Like, you'd be surprised. This, now I know someone's going to say, you're crazy. This is going to go for more money. It might, but more often than not, you'd see something like this Pace Arrow which is right here. You'd see this Pace Arrow go for more money because it runs and drives than you would a fifth wheel, fully decked out, super nice uh, RV. It's, it's crazy, it makes no sense, but that's just what it is. Anyways, let me know in the comments. All right. And for my carnage freaks, while I'm over here by the RV, it looks like this, this Ram 3500 blew up. Literally. Toasty! <laughs> now, I'm looking at this strictly because I have a friend that loves these cars. This Panther, these Panthers, this Lincoln town car. But, nope. That one's got its entire rear... AKA, it's got its shit pushed in. We won't be looking at that one. Ah, oh, the last time I looked at a semi truck, I think I was in Oklahoma City and it was back in what, December? I think it was December, early December, or maybe it was before that and I was puking my ass off because that was disgusting. This one seems to have a little damage here in the right quarter. Let me go ahead and get you guys out of, into wide angle. This is giving you a little bit better view of this right here. Um, I'm not, I gotta be honest with you, I really don't know nothing about uh, semi trucks. I mean, I could drive one, I don't know much about repairing them, 
the power plants, how to fix them. This is all fiberglass, looks like it's all broken. But it doesn't look like it would be too terribly bad to fix. It may just be that the mileage in the year have caused this one to get totaled. Oh, I thought for sure that was a bottle of piss, but no, it's just Coke. Yay, all right. Let's climb our ass up here and take a look in the cab. This one does not look, and this does not smell like Bedussi, so that's a win. All right, let me get up all the way up here. Whew. Wow, let me make sure I'm not. Oh, they got double bunks. So this is like a team driving truck, huh? Hell no. I'm sorry, I couldn't share a truck. Share something this size with somebody. At least I'm not hot bunking. Shout out to all my Navy people out there that know what I'm talking about. Hot bunks. <laughs> all right, let's take a look and see what the mileage is on this girl. And she's dead. So we're not gonna be, <laughs> we're not gonna be doing that. Oh wow, look at this right here, man. Eating, eating fuller. <laughs> Abracadabra. I know someone's gonna make some smart ass comment about that name. Eaton fuller. <laughs> Transmissions. All right, so it's got a clutch. Oh, this is a manual. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah, this is like a kid in a candy store up here, man. This big old manual diesel. Oh. See, this is what I'm thinking for a truck build. Like, take something like this, right? Get the nice seats and whatever in here. You know what I'm saying? Make it all nice. And then put a, tr put a pickup truck bed on the back of it. You know what I'm saying? I know people have done it before. But if you think that would look crazy cool, let me know. Smash the thumbs up down below because... I would have a blast with that and just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Having a manual like this, you know, put me some straight stacks, you know, some stacks on it, delete the DEF, which I know someone's going to snitch on me to the EPA for even saying that, but delete the, 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 the DEF and then um, go, go run this thing up to Whistling Diesel and be like, what's good? <laughs> what, what do you have? Oh, what's this right here? Comment below. What's this switch right here for? Is this like overdrive or something? Is it like an extra like super duper gear or something? You're you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I know y'all gonna be like, TK is having too much fun. There's parts in here. What is this? Huh. Huh. Interesting. I don't know what that is, but okay. I don't see anything else in here of interest. For real, for real. Kind of cool, right? I think they got a refrigerator up there. Built in. Okay. This is interesting. I mean, I kind of like semi-trucks. They've always been interesting to me, you know? I don't know if I could ever do that job, though. I'm going to keep it a buck. I like driving, clearly. I drive all over the damn country all the time. But I just don't know if I could, uh... Wow, that step was a little... <laughs> I'm about to be like, I'm about to eat it. Oh. Wet supply, secondary, primary. DEF only. I wonder if there's any secondary damage to this truck because I'm not really seeing it certified clean idle boo I don't know man I'm not seeing any other damage outside of the look at this thing rusted this thing must have been a lot, lot of salt roads tires and stuff look good let me know what you guys think I mean I, I gotta be honest it's not like I, I wouldn't bid on one but it's like what the hell would I do with it we had to put you guys back in super stable mode so the camera's not jumping everywhere. But what do you guys think? Like, what, what would I do with this damn thing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I would, I'm, I'm dead serious though. I would take this, you know what I'm saying? And then put a regular like pickup truck bed on the back of it, you know, and just drive it like a truck. Make sure that it says private or no, you know, not for hire or something on it so they don't bother me. But I think that would be kind of cool. What do you guys think? Would you guys like to see a semi truck? I'm going to be honest, it would be something crazy for me because I wouldn't know what the hell I was doing. This week on Days of Our Smashed. <laughs> Yo, I feel really bad for this one. Like, the wheels are sticking out. <laughs> like, extra. Like, the like. damn. Look at that. Fender's gone. Fender flare's gone. Toolbox got bent. Oh, wow. Did they have to climb out the back window? Oof. This one right here. F450 totally say it with me smashed <laughs> like oh wow something hit it up top 
This thing got destroyed. This was a King Ranch, too. Wow. Look at that. And something fell on it. Because look at the hood. It's like something went... It hit the whole thing. Or maybe it crashed into something and it hit a pole and then something fell that way. But I see dirt and stuff built up in the in the door. This one's really bad. Ouch. Do, 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 do. But you never know what you'll find out here in the corporate section. You know, this is a Power Stroke. What is this? Power Stroke V8 turbo diesel. It probably, it probably has a 6.0 in it, right? I doubt it has a 7.3. Man. Did y'all roll it? Y'all over here on y'all's Limp Biscuit. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Wow. Smashed. All right. Global Motors. Dealer car. It says no start. So y'all blew this one up, huh? Y'all blew this one up. I'm willing to bet. We'll take a look at it. I don't even know what kind of diesel it is. The hood's already pulled. Hold up. You know, I, I, I am looking for... If I could find the right Ford, I'd be kicking myself in the ass for not buying Randy's F-250 that he was selling to Superior Auto Scams. <sighs> Hold on one second, guys. Sometimes it requires two hands. Now, I see this thing's got zip ties holding a bunch of stuff together, man. Now, I don't see... Does it tell me here? It's a 6.0, so I will pass. And look how corroded, like look at the look at the engine in here. Ocean. Look at the rust and stuff in here. That is not gonna work. I mean, you can even see down there. Look at every pulley is rusted out like every single one they're all shot there's no way in hell I would I mean this thing either worked on the beach or it got flooded with salt water either way it's not something it's not something I would put my money in at all like everything is rusted down here so that's gonna be a no Signature ultralight, huh? This trailer is interesting to me. I'm guessing this trailer with, with all the scrap metal on it wrecked. <laughs> so, hey, if y'all are looking to just buy scrap, there you go. Ugh. This trailer, though, that I'm looking at doesn't look too terribly bad from the outside. I want to get a full walk around on the outside first and see if I see any physical damage and I'm moving you guys all the way around on the camera I'm not seeing any yet I see a little bit of a wave in there but that could just be delamination oh, I see a little bit of a thing up here maybe somebody hit it back here in the corner and that was enough because you know what insurance companies are so quick to to total these I found out because I was messaging somebody about the other RV when I took a break here a little while ago. That uh, really nice one. And they said, yeah, they'll total them in a heartbeat if they have any damage to the body. And this one definitely took a hit right here. But it's not bad. Let's go inside and see if it's affected the interior at all. I'm willing to bet no. I mean, I see this is coming apart here in the back too. But let's take a look. I want to see... Oh, this one has a very strong odor of, say it with me, Badussy. Oh, shit. Ugh. PlayStation controller. Does that mean there's a PS4 in here somewhere? Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, wow. All right. This one is just straight nasty. I mean, it's just cold nasty in here, man. Look at that. This tells me people didn't even get their stuff out of here. You got a TV here, a spare tire there, some kind of USB cable there. 
Interesting. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm not going to open the fridge because I will. It'll bet you that. Oh, you know what? If I don't do it, though, y'all get mad. I'll do it on my way out because I got to puke. All right. We got sunglasses, another TV, a cable box. Looks like something like a PS. Yeah, a PS3. And then look over there. That is a tub full of water. That's disgusting. Look, this is why it's total. This is why it's here. And the see the roof? It's leaking from that bathroom into that tub. That's disgusting. All right, that's why it's here. That's gonna take a lot of work. I mean, not a, it's not too terrible. I bet you this thing could go for really cheap, and it wouldn't be too terrible to fix up. But there's mosquitoes in here too. I'm sure they're breeding in that tub. Whew! All right. I know y'all want to see it. Oh, man, this is going to be bad. Look, I was wrong. Whoo! No, it's still... <laughs> All right. I didn't puke. That's a win. Old uh, Navy belt there. Microwave. Clean. I don't know. I guess this wouldn't be too bad if it went for the right amount of money. Like, if it went for 100 bucks or something... Maybe 200 bucks. It does have a slide out. I don't know if the slide out is damaged. When I look here from the top, if you look right there, you'll see some of the wall is kind of delaminated. It might have got some damage from that. But the rest, I mean, the lines, because the roof is kind of sagging back there, a little weird. I mean, it probably could be fixed. It just depends. Like, if this thing went for nothing, it'd be worth the money. That's disgusting over there, though. Let me know what you guys think. Yep, I figured. Military boots. It is actually time for today's premiere. So I'm going to pause here for a minute. We're finished with this one. I will take a look at it, though. We will see what happens. And I'm going to jump on the premiere so I can be in there with you guys uh, that are watching it yesterday. And you guys are, well, it's always a day behind. All right, guys. So now that the premiere is over, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a nice long video for y'all. Um, look at this. Some more. Now, this is something that you don't normally see. RV carnage. <laughs> this RV is absolutely uh, toasty. Toasty. <laughs> All right. Oh, so I wanted to get a lot of big stuff in today, the RVs um, and whatnot. And there's one more RV that supposedly had fire damage. It said external. That's on my list, too. I might not get to that today, though. Might have to come back. Wow, they got a lot of stuff here that's just smashed. Dump truck. Hey, that can make you some damn money right there. I don't care what happened to that. Man, the front of this doesn't look bad, though. It's kind of worth Oh, yeah, it does. Yep, somebody didn't know that the bridge was low. <laughs> All right. So this is a Fleetwood over here. Man, they got a lot of RVs out here, man. A lot of damn RVs. Whew. Has a smight, slight but dusty smell to it. Oh, I see fiberglass everywhere. All the windows. Here's some RV carnage for y'all, man. Now, this thing is supposed to run. But I'm guessing they had a fire on board. All the windows are busted out. Every single window busted out. Leather, I'm guessing they sprayed water in it. That's why it's all water damaged. But yeah, our roof is all warped here. This is where the damage, fire damage comes in. Let me cover my face so I'm not breathing in fiberglass in case this is floating around. So there's the fire damage. Looks like the gas tanks. Uh, blew up so yeah there you go that's not going to be one I'm willing to mess with but for somebody that wants to do the work you know they probably could pick this up for nothing I'm willing to bet you the power plant and everything else on this thing is just fine but does somebody wear oh the whole ignition is loose alright that's the end of that alright that's enough for me on this one Oh, definitely I wanted one I wanted to show you guys though. Wow, 
Look at that, man. All right, I think I can get a view of that side from right here. There it is, right there. There it is, look at that fire. I'm gonna have to get you out of Super Stable. And get a little bit more of a zoom. It's gonna be a little shaky, I apologize, but there it is, look at that damage. Burned the side right out of the damn thing. All right, so there's that. Oh! You know, if this is just a work truck where this is just, this is literally just a dump truck, I wouldn't even give a rat's ass about that roof being like that. As long as the, oh, wait a minute. I see where it's bent right there. Ah, uh, as long as this thing could still work, uh, like I wouldn't care. I would buy it and drive it just like it is and use it just to haul stuff, you know? You know, as a, as a dump truck. All right. Now for the last of my RVs is this Apex Ultralight Coachman that we have here. I don't see any damage on the front, rear, or sides. I've walked around the whole thing. It looks really nice. Oh, wow. Doesn't smell like ass in here. No badussy. All right. Clearly this is a slide out, right? No? That is a tight fit. Who's the hell's gonna fit back there? This doesn't slide. Let me look out here real quick. No? Does this slide? Okay, there's a slide out. I was looking, I'm like, wait a minute. There's the slide out right there. I'm about to be like, nah. They ain't make this for Americans. <laughs> All right. So you got a couple of bunks back there, right? Three bunks. Damn, this thing actually sleeps a few people, huh? Bathroom. Looks clean. I see they even got some uh, gloves and whatnot. Maybe they was into some freaky stuff. I see some dirt in here. I don't see any roof damage yet. Nice TV. Okay. Bedroom. Okay. This one, I'm, I am like this one. This one doesn't look like it really needs nothing. Why is it here? See, it's funny. It's crazy because, you know, they will total these out if the water gets up over the wheels and stuff like that. This one looks like a good deal. Let's look at the rear. I could have sworn I walked around this and I didn't see any damage. I didn't. No damage at all. Maybe the roof got damaged? I don't really... I don't... Well, is that bowed in some? No? I don't see any damage. So I don't know why the hell this is here. Maybe it's it's not listed as flood or anything. So no, no telling. But definitely on my watch list. All right, and it wouldn't be right if I didn't. Hey, look, there's a Geek Squad truck. <laughs> all right, got another RV here. It's all destroyed, Whoopee. smashed, burned. There's a tow truck here, Ford. Lights and everything. If that damn thing runs, you can go right to work with that, huh? Damn, look at that Kenilworth burned out there's some uh semi truck carnage huh what do y'all think about that Toasty. that's ridiculous the whole cab and everything man Woo. look at the motor in that that's ridiculous this is turning out to be more carnage than wow <laughs> wow Oh. All right, guys. And the last one of the day for me for today's walk around is Infinity. Now, I know we looked at a lot of RVs and a lot of big stuff because people ask for different stuff. This one does not look bad. It does have a key. 106,000 miles. Hard top convertible. And it did have some rear end damage in the photos. And that is not too terribly bad. You know, it definitely would have to be pulled and then body filled and all that crap, but bumper replaced. I probably can reuse those sensors, tail light. I don't even know if that trunk lid, a trunk lid might even be able to be filled and saved. I don't know, man. For the right price, you know. Let's take a look at her. Does she got power? She does. Okay, does she got keys? She does. This is G37. Very similar to what I saw out there at uh, IAA in Oklahoma City. 
Hey! Fired right up. Okay. Does she go into gear? Reverse. Yep. Backup camera works. Drive. Yep. Oh, this is a little steel right here. Check tire pressure, which doesn't surprise me. Airbag sensor. I like these Bose speaker things right here next to your head. That's kind of crazy. Damn, this thing right here might be the star of the show this week. To be honest. I really like this. Oh, she runs. This is just like the one I saw out in Oklahoma City. I really like this. This is really, really clean. Let's take a look at the uh, engine, shall we? Oh. V6. That all looks good. And I just want to see if the oil looks bad, if it's got anything in it. Looks clean. Yeah. If I can get this thing back in the damn thing. Alright. Looks good. To me. This thing literally got totaled just for that rear end damage. Just for that damage right there. That's it. And it looks bad, I know, but it's really, I bet you it's really not that bad. I know people are going to say, man, that whole fender has to be fixed. That whole fender has to be pulled out. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But it just depends on what this thing goes for. If it goes for the right amount of money, it's worth it. Hell yeah, it's worth it, man. I know people are going to be like, Infinity suck, TK. Them things run like crap. Look, this is a nice little weekend sports car. And I'm looking at for something for myself for the low and this is not bad anyways let me know what you guys think all right guys that's gonna do it for today's copart walk around let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i think this little infinity is gonna be a hell of a steal personally but i got some other stuff to show you guys i gotta film some motorcycles for tomorrow's video and then I got to come back out here because I'm not going to get it all done today anyway. But uh, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching today. If you enjoy what I do, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. If you want to see more RVs, more semi trucks, more things that are different. Also, let me know in the comment section down below. Till next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video.